Alright, here it is. Stage 6, the final level. That's right, it all ends right here. And like any good final level, they decide to wrap the difficulty through the fucking roof. Because hey, you played it this far, you might as well see the ending. And the idea being that you're going to pump a fuckload of quarters into the machine in order to do that. So, how do they make you pump in your shitload of quarters? Easy. They decide to pack the place full of enemies, bullets, and they decide to bring back a couple bosses just for shits and giggles. Yeah, the game really does hate you that much. Fortunately, the bosses are all depowered, so they're quite a bit easier than you might remember. The bees are all pretty easy to get on this level. There's two groups of four and two groups of two with one extra one hidden off towards the beginning. They're all hidden in sort of gaps in the enemy patterns, so nothing too serious. This and stage five are probably the easiest among the later stages. I really don't recommend going for stage four if you're trying to do, get all the bees because fuck no stage four. I just really dislike that one. And I finally built up another maximum. It took long enough, I know. One of the new enemies you're seeing here are these bees which shoot off a large spread of pink bullets like that. And these things, I'm not sure what the hell they are, but they shoot out those green spread shots that kind of home. They try to pull this stunt where they sort of block you into like a narrow passage and sort of wall it off with a spread shot or a couple of homing shots. So keep an eye out for that. It's really just a matter of dodging homing shots in really narrow spaces, except when the spread shots come into play, in which case it's picking the right hole. Right here, this is fucking combo heaven. They throw so many enemies at you at once that no matter where you shoot, you're hitting something. So you just combo the fuck out of everything. You'd have to be absolute shit at this game to not build up at least one decent combo somewhere in this level, and right here is probably where it's going to happen. Here is probably the hardest B grab in the level. You have to do it while all these fucking homing lasers and bullets are coming at you. Fucking annoying. Right there, one of the few new enemies in this level. Uh, the return of Stage 2's mini boss. Fortunately, a lot weaker again. <laughs> so it just goes right down. Two bombs in this level, by the way. For those of you keeping track. Even though I know none of you are. So that's stage six. I'm not even going to pretend I'm that good at this level, or this game for that matter. Um, I typically die or fuck up somewhere in this level. Somehow, I guess I just like zoned out or pulled off something awesome because that was probably the best run I'd done for this level. Or easily one of the best. Um, right there, you just want to move sideways. You don't want to get caught by the wall at the end of that. Here we have the old, old standby of a sort of spread pattern with a homing shot. Well, a uh, circular pattern. Fuck, I keep calling it. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, this one right here, it's easy to get hypnotized. It's two spread shots that one moves faster than the other. So you want to keep an eye on the fast moving ones and just sort of briefly take glances at the slow moving one. Here what you want to do is just keep moving up and down in order to get between the shots. Don't move sideways or you're going to run into something. I did move sideways as you noticed, but it was a really slight movement and it was well timed. So keep an eye on that. This is the pattern I really fucking hate. This boss is pretty simple for an end boss. Kind of not what I was expecting, but you know. I figured, fuck it, I'm using laser. I fucking hate that pattern. The trick is to move up and down, much like the last one, but I figured just fuck it. Eat laser, you son of a bitch. So, that's the game. It's all over with. Um, yeah. I guess there's only one last thing to say. <laughs> uh, alright, so here's the... ending, <laughs> if you can call it that. As you probably know, these games don't exactly have big, complicated endings. It just ends with some guy telling you, Congratulations, you've won the game! Uh, what the fuck? Wait, what? Son of a... Oh god damn it. This is this is fucking bull. Oh fucking shit balls. What you didn't think it was actually going to be this easy, did you? Nope. I spent the entire game killing my own guys. That's right. 
I wasn't actually fighting the right side in this war. No, I was killing my own team. It turns out I fucked up really fucking bad. And I was being played. Being played like a goddamn fiddle. So, yeah, I'm not even halfway finished this game. I have to now replay every level in the game all over again, except now they're like five times harder, and it all culminates in one of the most bullshit boss fights ever seen, ever. God, I fucking hate my life. Why did I decide to play this? I fucking hate my life. Fuck you all, good night.